everybody, this is Last Sack NA, and I'm going to be talking about my uh, mastery page for Zach this patch uh, because I've updated it quite a bit since the uh, the preseason, so I just wanted to get everything up to date and make sure that no one was still running around with Bond of Stone because I told them to a long time ago. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I'm just going to be talking about them a little bit. First, Sorcery uh, is just flat out better than Fury then, uh, because Zach doesn't you need attack speed. You don't need attack speed to clear the jungle. Uh, you don't need attack speed to hit people. You don't need it for anything. Ability damage is just flat out better on Zach uh, than attack speed. Uh, Feast, this is sort of a preference. Um, I do think that Feast is better, but some people like Double-Edged Sword for extra damage. So if you're feeling really cheesy, uh, then you should do that. But Feast, I think, is more consistent, and uh, I don't need to be taking any more damage uh, from people like Vayne or Fiora than I already am. Uh, so I I'm going to stick with Feast. Uh, vampirism, I used to have natural talent, but Vampirism, uh, I I've been told that this mastery is just pretty garbage for the most part. Um, the amount of ability power per level just is not very good. Uh, so I figured that healing off of the spell vamp from vampirism during team fights is more useful than the like two or three ability power per level um yeah three ability power at level 18 that's just yeah not good so uh healing off of the spell vamp is much better uh oppressor as i said in my last video if you're hitting someone in zach they're most likely cc because three or yeah three of your abilities cc people so um yeah it just is flat out better than bounty hunter because it's way more consistent. Uh, unyielding, 5% uh, bonus armor and magic resist. I like this better because I'm building full tank, so I get a lot more use out of this mastery than the, the small amount of health regen from this one. And then for the next one, tough skin. Uh, I like this because I take less damage from you know 80 carries people hitting me, and then it also helps me clear the jungle. And as for Explorer, I don't really need the extra movement speed. I already have Slingshot to get into uh, ganks, so I don't need extra like movement speed to uh, run to get to places, anything like that. Uh, Runic Armor, this is flat out like one of the best masteries for Zach this season. Uh, this is not a choice. If there is one thing that I'm going to say on this, on this uh, mastery page that's not a choice, Runic Armor is not a choice. Uh, this is... 100% the best for Zach because uh, you get so much off of the, the blobs and uh, regeneration and stuff like that, that 45 health or whatever it is is just not nearly as good. Um, yeah. And then Perseverance. This one is probably the biggest uh, judgment call that I've made on this, on this page. Uh, just because I don't feel that I'm dependent on Flash uh, that much to engage or to get away. Um, usually if I engage, I end up about where I want to be without Flash. And Perseverance, uh, the amount of times that you're below 25% health in a team fight on Zac is, is pretty frequent. So I like to uh, have that to get the extra regen and, and just stay alive longer, stuff like that. Plus it, it stacks really well with the Runic Armor, so... Um, and the Spirit Visage. So Spirit Visage with Runic Armor, with Perseverance, just it's a lot of health regen. It helps you stay in the fight longer. Uh, Legendary Guardian, this is another judgment call that I made. Uh, I personally like Legendary Guardian better because as Zac, you're team fighting most of the game and you're going to be near a lot of enemy champions. So you want to have Legendary Guardian. Uh, the Swiftness, the Tenacity, and Slow Resist, uh, Zac already removes slows from himself when he uses his ultimate. So as long as you time your ultimate well, um, or just use it to initiate a fight really well, this shouldn't matter as much as the extra armor and magic resist that you're getting from Legendary Guardian. So that's why I chose that. Uh, that being said, you can definitely run Swiftness if you want. I just find this one more helpful. Uh, lastly, Strength of the Ages. Um, Bond of Stone got nerfed uh, quite a few times since the preseason and is no longer really the best mastery on Zac. Uh, because it doesn't double when you're near champions anymore, if I'm correct. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm correct. So, uh, and Grassman and Dying is just better for top laners when you're trading constantly. Um, but for Jungle Zack, 
which is what this page is for. Strength of the Ages is just insanely good because you can get, you know, if you clear the entire jungle, you can have 60 extra health by the time you are done clearing the jungle, and that's not including if you get the Scuttle Crabs. So, yeah, just really good mastery. So this is for patch 6.3. Um, if I change it at all in the future, I will try and post a screenshot in the description of what my new masteries look like. Uh, but until then, I will see you all in the next video, which should be a runes video. So I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.